What's going on people, my name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can add JavaScript to your WordPress theme. So right now I have this simple theme and what I want to do is when I click this logo I want to fade out my whole main navigation and when I click the logo again I want to fade in. Alright, so it's like a toggle, fade out, fade in. Maybe it doesn't make sense right now, but it's something cool. I'm gonna go to my text editor right now. And here I have all my theme files. So I'm gonna jump to my functions.php, right? You're gonna see, you know, a lot of code and stuff. But if you scroll down and scroll down, you will see something like this, right? And you will see some CSS files. Maybe you will see some JavaScript, some jQuery, um, more stuff, right? So right now I don't have any JavaScript file here, so I need to add my own. And you can see here that I have a folder named JS and I have a script.js file and right now it's empty. But in here I want to add all my code, all the things that I want to do with JavaScript, I want to add them right here, right? But first I need to add the file right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some, something very similar instead of CSS is going to be for JavaScript. Okay. So I'm going to create a function. Oops. Sorry. Function and it's going to be just like this. So I'm going to, you can choose whatever name you want for this function. So let's say cool scripts. All right, just like that, some brackets. And now inside here, we're going to add WP and Q. Instead of style, you can see here that it said style is going to be scripts. All right, so don't get confused because it's not going to work if you, you, if you use style adding a JavaScript file, OK? Now inside here, you're gonna add the handle, which you can see here are some different names. They can be whatever you want. So for mine, I'm just gonna put like, cool stuff. All right. Now, coma. And here is gonna be the same thing, all right? The get style chic directory URI. All right, so let's get that done. You can see it right there. Awesome. Period. And now we need to add the folder, which is JS right here and the file. All right. I'm going to explain you in a minute what this is doing right now and the period. But let's add the folder, which is JS and my file is script.js. All right. Now I'm going to add another comma. And here I need to add my dependency. So I depend on jQuery because I'm going to code using jQuery. So I need to add an array. And inside here, I'm going to add jQuery. And that's it. Now I can use jQuery there. Another comma. And here you need to add your version, the version of your script. So let's say mine is 1.0.0. 1, 1. If you don't want to, you can just put in here false and that's it. But I'm going to leave it to in 1.0.0, just like that. All right, another comma. And now this is the last thing. Do you want this script in your footer? Yes or no? I don't, so false. I want I want this in my header. Okay. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click my site, I'm gonna go to my view page source. I'm gonna scroll down, you'll see all the code. And you can see here, look at all this. All this is 
right here, all this, all right? Now, do you see this get template directory URI? Well, that thing is doing all this long URL, all right? The uh, WP content themes, your theme name, all that stuff is doing it for you, okay? Now, you need to add the folder that is inside your theme and the file name and all that. So the period is kind of putting them together, right? So that's a quick description about it. Let's see, this is looking good. Now we need to add this add action because this is saying like, I want to trigger this function because right now it's not gonna work. So we need to tell WordPress that we're gonna, we want to trigger this function and this is gonna add that J JavaScript file somewhere around here. So let's go here. I'm just gonna copy and paste the add action. I don't know if I did it, but let's paste it right here. And I'm just gonna add the name of my function right here. So it's cool scripts, just like that, all right. Let's see if everything looks good, everything looking good. All right, let's save it. And let's reload the page source. And of course, it's not working, right. So let's go back, um, maybe there's a typo somewhere. Just, yep. Not with an S, just script, okay? Without the S, let's see if we have another typo. Uh, yep, we have another one here, oh my god, sorry, all right, okay, I think everything looks good right now, I hope, let's save, let's go back, please, please, all right, we are back, and you can see here that we have a new line here, and it says JS, script.js, the version that we added right there, and everything, I think everything's looking good. If I click there, it's supposed to be empty. Yep, there's nothing there. All right. Let's reload the page, make sure that everything is working. All right, awesome. Now we have that file is empty. So I'm gonna open it right here, script.js. And I'm gonna paste a simple code that I have right here. It's a very simple jQuery code. Paste. Let's go back to the website. I'm gonna click inspect right here in the logo because what I want is when I click there, let's see, we have a class of brick two in the logo, all right? And then in the main navigation, we have a class of brick 10. So what I'm gonna do is, so you can understand the code, it says when you click brick two, it's gonna fade toggle brick 10, which means that if you click the brick two, it's gonna fade out, and if you click it again, it's gonna fade in. So we have a fade toggle right here. So I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna reload my page. And now let's click on the logo. Boom, you can see them whole main navigation just uh, fade out and it's not there. I'm gonna click again and there you have it. I can just, you know, normal, like just everything is working. I can just click again and it's not there. All right, so this is very simple, but I mean, the first time I did this, I was like, whoa, 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 wait a second. I mean, this is powerful. I can imagine all the things that I can do, right? With my WordPress site, with other simple site, with applications, with a lot of things, right? So that's it. Subscribe if you wanna keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.